is our last full day in Australia. So we've driven to a place called Hillsville Sanctuary and we're gonna walk around, see some kangaroos. No. Don't do that. <laughs> yeah, we're just gonna wander around, see what we can see. It's a bit cloudy today, but um, hopefully it brightens up. This building here was where the zoo opened in 1934. That's so long ago. We just went into this bit in the zoo which was like a vet, like a veterinary place and they were doing operations in front of everyone. And we went over to this one bit and there was this turtle? Turtle on the operation table and this girl was so cute. And she was so sad. And as we walked over she goes, <sighs> It got hit by a car and it's broken its spine and she didn't take her eyes off it off the turtle and it was so cute. She was just sat there by herself. But we're gonna go find some platypuses now. Is it platypuses? Platypus, yeah, platypus. Platypuses is a strange word. Yeah. We are currently um walking by with the wallabies and apparently you can stroke them and they've got little joeys in their pouches. They're stroking them. We are so close to the wallabies. I am obsessed, they're so cute. I just said a wallaby and it was the cutest thing in the entire world. The zookeeper said that it was less than 12 months old and it just came over and I just started feeding it. Oh, it was so cute. We're vlogging next to a pelican. <laughs> Standard. <laughs> <laughs> Look how big its beak is. We have seen every animal now. I'm tired. Are you tired? Oh, yeah, my legs are just like worn out. But Dad, I'm being inquisitive about the wombats. I don't think I'd ever seen a wombat before. They look like cute pigs. <laughs> okay, so we're in the Tasmanian devil enclosure. Um, I'm on the little Tasmanian devils. Just keep doing a massive lap. So cute. <laughs> Oh my god, my arm is itchy. <laughs> <laughs> oh gross. Dad, what's your address? When the air is thin and the flame is low, I need you more. So we just got back from the sanctuary. It was so, so fun. Um, but the sun is setting and we are absolutely starving and it's our last night in Australia. So we're going to go for dinner with my dad and maybe walk along the river and I'm craving a Slurpee so maybe we'll get one of those too.
got back from dinner. It was absolutely amazing. But I thought I would just update you quickly on what's been going on like this afternoon because we didn't film for a little bit. And basically since we've been here, I've been meeting with a family friend who's like a nutritionalist and she's been helping me sort out my diet because if you've been watching my videos for a while, you'll know that I have a lot of food allergies and I am always complaining that I'm ill or I had to come home from somewhere because I had an allergic, an allergic reaction. So when we were here, I decided to go and see um, our friend and she basically took a load of tests and said I was lacking in pretty much everything. She said the way I was going at the moment I wouldn't be able to have kids because my body is running on nothing and basically when I eat I get so ill that like my body just goes into like shutdown. So she's given me this diet plan which will like take me right back to basics. I honestly just want to try what she said because I feel like I've tried so much random stuff and what she was saying just makes so much sense. So I'm gonna give it a go and hopefully it means that my body becomes a bit more healthy. And it's about midnight. So we're gonna end this vlog. Don't say goodbye. Bye. <laughs> Bye, we'll see you guys in the morning.